I am Dr. Dhiman Kahali. I am Director Intervention, BM Birla Heart Research Center. I am also the ex-chairman of National Intervention Council, Cardiological Society of India. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to talk about a rare entity that is renal artery stenosis. But it's not that rare really. What is the problem with the renal artery? It supplies that these are two arteries which supplies the kidneys. But sometimes we find there are multiple arteries, you know, instead of one on each side, there may be three or four on each side. And those are anomalies. But in renal artery stenosis, why we are concerned about it? Because it causes renal parenchymal damage, means damage to the kidney tissues. As a result, what happens? The kidneys become ischemic because of lack of blood supply, because of the blockages as it occurs in the heart. There is blockages in the renal artery, that means artery supplying the kidneys and less blood goes and there is ischemia of the kidneys. As a result, what happens? The excretory products of the body like creatinine, urea, BUN, they are not well excreted. They stay in the blood and their level rises. So these are the problems which we face with renal artery stenosis. Now previously what we used to do and also a very important surrogate that is rise of blood pressure. Patients who have got severe blood pressure elevation, we call it as hypertension, severe hypertension and especially if it occurs in the very young people below the age of 20 or above the age of 55 means in the elderly individual sudden appearance of the renal artery stenosis this means that the patient severe hypertension I mean severe elevation of the blood pressure this means that the patient has got renal artery stenosis not always in some patients this occurs in patients with severe renal artery stenosis the blood pressure goes up the patient's kidneys become ischemic and urea and creatinine all go up that means the excretory products from the body go up so this is the end result of the disease now what we do nowadays that we have been doing renal artery stenosis when the stenosis was 60 70 percent like that in borderline cases also 70 percent as we do in the case of heart in coronary arteries so we have been doing the same thing for the renal arteries but now the threshold has gone up what does it mean that means we don't do renal artery stenting if the blockage is not more than 90 percent so only we deal with those renal arteries that means we do renal artery stenting as we do in the coronary arteries we do uh, PTCA we call it percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty so similarly we do PTRA means percutaneous transluminal uh, renal artery angioplasty but the threshold has gone up why the threshold has gone up because we saw that from the different trials large trials randomized uh, multinational trials double blind that the even if we relieve the hyper, uh, you know, renal artery stenosis in borderline cases or less than 90% cases, then the patient doesn't improve that much. So that was the reason. The hypertension doesn't come down. But when the lesion is severe, the obstruction is severe, say 90-95%, we go for angioplasty even now. Especially if the patient has a anecdotal history of pulmonary edema what is pulmonary edema pulmonary edema means there is accumulation of blood in both the hearts because of high blood pressure very high blood pressure the there is congestion in the lungs and that is known as hypertension and pulmonary edema pulmonary edema can occur because of other reasons also like after a severe heart attack when there is enlargement of the heart when there is deficient pumping of the heart muscle there can be pulmonary edema so in renal artery stenosis because of severe high blood pressure they can cause pulmonary edema so when there is history of antecedent pulmonary edema 
we sometimes do the renal artery st uh, stenting even if the blockage is not 90 percent. So this is a nice exception from the rule or from the guideline recommendations that we intervene when the lesion is not that severe but there is a definite history of pulmonary edema which is proved in the x-ray by physical examination, by patient symptomatology, by echocardiogram and other means. So these are the indications of renal stenting, renal artery stenting in case of renal artery stenosis. So this is an illness with uh, much morbidity and mortality, the high blood pressure, the rise in creatinine compelling the patient to go for hemodialysis ultimately even to renal replacement therapy I mean renal transplant but anyhow we have got very good treatment for it even with drugs the high blood pressure nowadays it's very easy to bring it down and but sometimes as I told you if the stenosis is very critical then of course we have to go for other means that is renal artery stenting. So outlook is very good and thank you very much for your kind attention ladies and gentlemen.